transport on its way. My name is Vladislav Lomko. I'm 18 years old and I'm a professional racing driver. I feel the joy for sure because uh, this is what I love. This is what uh, this is what I do. This is my life. Almost a full three months since we were last racing in the European Le Mans Series in 2023. We finally arrive on the uh, Côte d'Azur here at Le Castellet in the south of France. I'm pretty excited about this weekend. Uh, we had uh, not a great start of the season at, uh, at Barcelona. Le Mans was very difficult for us. Um, but in both first races, we always showed we had performance. Le Castellet, um, for sure, it's a little bit special for us because we know quite well the track. But um, it's strange because we, we never have uh, been really successful in LMP2 here. I was there to help him to understand uh, how motorsport uh, is working because it's a really difficult world, especially when you are young. Uh, it's not easy to, to find your place and uh, it's not easy to, to, be, uh, to be at the top and to, to build the performance. That was my, uh, my main job, I would say. Come on, come on, come on, come on. My feeling of the weekend so far, it has started quite shit for me. Box, box, box. It wasn't that quick. I needed a bit of time to adapt, to get back used to the car, because uh, it wasn't that great at the beginning. So far, the industrial, you think? Maybe, yes. Maybe on the whole. I think the, the main points were last corner and T5. There it's quite uh, slow. Now they have a bit more rake. Especially like mainly T8. I'm not limited by the rear, so we can go maybe a little bit more. Find some way. to share the car and uh, it's a privilege to share a car with them. Rashad is very very quick and he's a very nice guy, so, uh, guy as well. I have a very good feeling uh, with Vlad. Uh, I know him since uh, quite a long time because we were in school together uh, in Le Mans. So it's good to be teammate with him because we know uh, us each other uh, from before which is good. session I was progressing, progressing, getting better and better, uh, getting the confidence back in. When Nico told me the opportunity to also be sharing the car with two young guys, um, for me it was very nice. I, I've been in motor racing for a very long time and I'm really looking forward to bring my experience and maybe try to shortcut them some things. And then Pichito, he's very experienced. Uh, I can learn so much things from, from him and I'm already doing that.
you don't have a second chance in fact. If you are not good enough, if you are not fast enough, you can be out uh, very quickly. And that's why we work uh, very hard. I think it's very important also to learn that how important is um, racing, but it's also important to learn that you need to have fun. You know, there is a time for racing and time also to enjoy what you do. And I think this is very important. Over the track, uh, everyone loves to do bicycle. So we organize the bike. It helps us to, to build the team, to have some love because it's good to be serious. Uh, it's good to work hard, but sometimes it's good also to disconnect and to have some jokes together. So this is uh, this is what we have actually to to have like uh, to disconnect a bit of motorsport. emotion and uh, we have to yeah, admit yeah. that yesterday it was we were not in the game and sometimes it happens it's like this yeah, he yeah. told me it's not sure but it should be like this no no but i think they maybe they will make Russia and Pichito do the quality okay and then uh, they decide who has the best potential but no no i think they're more biased towards uh, Pichito which is fair I, th I think so Pichito looks faster yeah it's good and you can see yesterday the, the behavior is like uh, fucking warrior in the car. Just to show you the whole afternoon session with all the best laps. So this is uh, to your first set. You do your best sector three in your first push. Basically the tires are uh, at their peak in uh, sector three of first push and then uh, sector one and two in second push. And we're gonna have a two there. Very hard, it will be less, less probably. Yeah. So I think it's better win for the track. Uh, this weekend, uh, it, for nous, it's not particularly difficult because we just from 24 hours a day. It was a une grosse period of travail intense for us. But we managed to quand même à the le Castellet, so the voiture has marché so we are very happy. Why Non, non, toujours pas. Non, non, il faut surtout pas passer le cœur. The main goal is to win the championship. But uh, for me personally, as a driver, is to learn as much things as possible, become as mature as possible, and be on the best level possible, and uh, to battle with the professional drivers that are getting paid to do this job. Okay, mate. Uh, we are doing a uh, few adjustments and we will go out. You are tired with one stint mileage, full tank. And the feedback from Richard was the car is uh, well balanced. Uh, no real neg, a balance is consistent through the run. But it's a bit tricky to drive a bit on the edge and if you do a slight mistake, like if you over push slightly, it doesn't uh, forgive you. Um, especially with full fuel, it's a bit over steering. Okay, copy that. It was um, great for us to, to get him, you know, he was our first choice in the list and uh, he's a great tool for us to, to fight um, to get this championship. Box, box, box. Coming. 
He's still young, so we still have to work a bit uh, to teach him the endurance series and uh, how to manage the few parameters that we don't have in, in single seater where he's coming from, like tire management, traffic, and, and this kind of stuff. No, no, you, you have to find your proper balance in the, in the traffic. In endurance, this is the key because to be fast is something, but in, in fact, it's four hours races and you will have all the time in traffic during the. I'm always here to push him at uh, the maximum. It's never easy. We try to, to work as hard as possible to make the race, in fact, uh, as easy as possible. Check, check. Great, especially in FP2, I think uh, the pace was pretty reasonable, but the most important is that my feeling in the car was great. It's very nice to, to work with him. He's working very hard and he's pushing a lot to, to learn from, from everybody in the team, so it's very good. Yeah, but you know, he's very serious and always looking forward to, to look at the data and try to get better. You know, it's not someone that is close, which is very important. Ici, on voit qu'il y a de la bonne volonté parce que tu essaies de rentrer fort devant. Tu relâches après lui. Ça, donc, pour montrer, paradoxalement, ici, la pente, bah, ça rigole pas quand tu, tu t'engages dedans. All the lights are green, but obviously, the most important is yet to come. Fresh from that victory at Monza last weekend with Mike Conway and Kamui Kobayashi that's put them right back in the championship hunt for the World Endurance Championship after a horrible Le Mans. He is riding the crest of a wave now, the Argentinian driver, and Pichito for the first time ever in the ELMS. I don't think he's entered it before. When it's time to focus and be 100% in the car, you know, you switch. We, though, can shift our attention, Johnny, to the seven cars in the LMP2 class. And, uh, well, this will be entertaining as well. United Auto Sports USA, Algar Pro Racing, Edex Sport, Duquesne Team, Inter Europe World Competition, Cool Racing, and Paris Racing about to do battle. No qualifying tyre research you have to use one set or two sets of your race three, for tomorrow. Two, one. Pit exit is open for LMP2 qualifying. Please remind drivers of the need to respect the white line at pit exit and the track limits during the whole session. Jose Maria Lopez in the 47, so we're not going to get a repeat of the Richard de Guerras pole position. Alex Lynn and René Bender pushing and pushing hard right now. Jose Maria Lopez has backed off actually, or made a mistake somewhere because he's a couple of seconds down on the Alex Lid middle sector right now. Box, box, box. And that's with six minutes to go. Pachito over the line for cool racing in the 47 car. Mistake in the cool racing car down at Virage de l'Hotel. So straight lining turn three and having to take to the prescribed escape road. So the session was red flagged with just about five minutes on the clock. Paul of Chatan immediately 144.7. Jose Maria Lopez then go quicker still. He's a tenth up on the other two guys. It's not quite as quick in sector one this time from Juan of Chatan. It's going to be about the rest of the lap though. Next across the line will be Oli Caldwell in the colours of Inter Europe competition, but he's lost a bit of ground. That is a good time. Jopin out provisionally to pole, but here comes Pachito. Paul of Chatan can't match that. <laughs> Fabulous third sector from Pichito Lopez. Cool racing to the top of the times. It's 144, 253. So 
There is Pachito. He's got one more lap to go. The checkered flag will be shown. Lopez, his first LMP2 pole position in cool racing. <laughs> it was a really great experience in, uh, in endurance and I think it helps Vlad to be better and better, stronger and stronger and yeah, this is what we want in fact. After quali, after a great uh, result by Petito, uh, the pole position obviously it motivates me even more because uh, I know we can be there, we are there, we, we have the pace, uh, we can win this tomorrow. So I just have to do my best. I have to stay focused as always and then uh, waiting for the great result. Welcome along, my name's Johnny Palmer and I'm joined by Graham Goodwin, the editor of dailysportscar.com for another feast of endurance racing. I really like the team. Uh, they're very, very professional. I've never actually been uh, in a, such a professional team in my entire life. Uh, everything is organized, everything should be perfect. And uh, I become, uh, uh, how do we say it, uh, mature, more mature. And uh, yeah, I think it's definitely, I, I've learned a lot from them. The 101 drive is the same set. Yeah. And you have to manage it because if you push too much, yeah, the I know. you have to push a bit at the beginning to make a gap and then you just don't look at the mirror and just go. No, no, I will manage the tires and everything. You have to improve the traffic. Yes. This is something you are great to improve. Yeah, you are I'm taking so many risks but you have to, to improve this part. Just do it, don't think too much, go as fast as possible mate. Okay, just enjoy your race. have some bigger responsibility because he will take the start and he can make the difference right from the start of the race. Today we get the massive platter of beef that is the four hours uh, of Paul McCart of the 2023 European Le Mans series. Clicks on the rear and brakes. It's not easy to rock the inside. So. But it will be 18 year old Vlad Lonko in for the opening stint. So, quite some pressure on his shoulders. The opening race of the ELMS. Ignition on. Okay, engine on, engine on. Position for Pachito, Jose Maria Lopez, but it'll be Vlad Lonko to start the cool racing car. Good job on tire warm up, mate. Good job. Remember, all cars to grid position, exit of T8. Remember to warm up your brakes. You can still warm up your brakes. Lucas Delay as part of the European Le Mans series. We've still got five races to go in 2023 as at least one car shoots into the pit lane there. That was a number three car doing as it was ordered. At the start of the race, we are racing for the European Le Mans Series at Le Castellet. Good start, mate. Good start. Focus forward. But Vlad Lomko is building a nice little gap here of a second. Race leader Vlad Vonko, and he's got a big lead there. Four point three seconds across the, the line as Kevin Simpson looks for way by the second place car. I think the gap could have been a bit uh, bigger since I've lost a bit of time in traffic. Vlad Vonko continue to lead the race. Continue. 
first stop for Vlad Lomko. That was totally on schedule after 35 minutes. Pit stop for Paul Racing against Hardcore Pro. Four seconds for good. That will help in this battle. So it's Vlad Lomko leading by now 1.3 seconds. The gap had altered very slightly back to one and a half or even half a second. Uh, nope. Don't do any mistake, you know, he's really strong in the race. So that's uh, that's clearly a very good point for us. It's quite okay, it's quite okay. It was a bit towards understeer at the end of this week. I would say right side even more maybe than the right side. Ce qui est c'est que t'es parti super linéaire, c'était nickel comme t'es parti. Tu as mis le temps, pas de bonheur. Et du coup, bah, je l'ai fait en OK star parce qu'il n'a pas besoin de me passer avant la ligne rouge. J'ai fait en OK star, je l'ai doublé, il était derrière, derrière, mais... I think uh, my two stints were quite okay. Some things to improve for sure, but uh, generally not too bad. Uh, kept the position. He's doing very well because he's determined, he's very motivated, and uh, every time he proved me that he wants to get the best of him. Dalgo Pro racing the lead over Cool Racing, so being quicker on pit lane. Under pressure from Mesha de Geras in the Cool Racing car. Thirty car, minute oh, eight. Which side of the GTs do you want to go here? The forty-seven car decided to go left. This is Luis de Atras, and he's closed on Jose Maria Lopez. This is for overall position. Pachito snaking his way through turn six and seven, but now there'll be no holding back. Luis de Atras. Jose Maria Lopez under pressure from James Allen. It's absolutely side by side. I have nothing to say because he made a job. Eh? Starting pole, uh, he was able to manage a good gap uh, with the P2 uh, after a double stint. So, one hour 20 in the car, he was still P1. We were able to, to keep the, the first position, so oh, no, it's it's positive. Good. Maybe a bit uh, more pace uh, next time? A bit more pace, still continue to work on the traffic. Pechito was very happy on the traffic. He I told am. me, yeah, no, no, I'm not joking. He told me directly, Vlad, you pass a step oh. in the traffic. And it's very promising, so you have to, to push again and again, step by step. C'est la mise en action, tu vois, ouais. c'est de dire ok j'arrive et tout de suite, euh, pas le premier tour, mais au bout de 5-6 tours, je suis là, là en et après je construis là-dessus, parce que là c'est vrai que ça a mis beaucoup, beaucoup, là, beaucoup de temps. dernier FP pour qu'on se dise ok, là on est bien ouais. et maintenant on construit quoi. Bien sûr. Ouais. Okay. Bravo. Ouais. Merci Nico. Good job. Then, uh, after some, uh, some little things, some little details, uh, as the race went on, we've lost the position and then we had the tire delamination on the first stint of uh, Pechito, so this is quite unfortunate and at the end uh, P4 in our class and P5 in, uh, in overall, it's not that great, I'm not that happy about it, but uh, I mean this is racing and uh, it, it, it might happen, so, so I mean we keep the head up, we keep the hard work, a lot of positive things learned this weekend, uh, I think uh, my traffic management is much better now, since uh, I've improved it during the race, I've been working on it. So yeah, we see what the next race will bring to us, but uh, mostly, mostly happy with the job I'm doing and with my progression. <laughs>